What's up, YouTube? Slim Tim here, fired up fish tanks. Just want to do a quick video on my do yourself CO2 and force reaction chamber. Like I said, I got a uh, power head rated at 125, 150 gallons per hour. I said it came with this little fitting to go into a uh, under gravel filter. So, you know, it works for the same purpose. This is a uh, gravel siphon. I said just cut off the tip on top, put that on there. You can silicone it if you want to. I don't because it makes it easier to clean. But, you know, you got that little bit of a nub inside there and stuff like to get stuck in behind that. And like I said, the current's forced down around the vortex. As you can see, the bubbles going around and around. I say they got the uh, CO2 come in midways up the chamber. And I say I can easily take these uh, this apart and clean in the inside for whenever algae starts forming. I say the bubbles go up, and a big uh, big bubbles get constantly diced around until they're small enough to come back down with the force of the current. Like I said, y'all can see my little nice vortex action here. Kind of got a mini, mini twister going on in there. Like I said, put a little suction cup here on the side. Got one up on the power head. Helps hold it in place. Like I said, you can see the 100% uh, diffused bubbles coming out the bottom. Kind of like how it wraps around and around the opening right there and spilling them out. So I just got to clean the power head and with a water change. It's the first of the month of the water change of the weekly water changes. I clean my sponges. Right quick, I've been uh, testing this theory out for the uh, last week. Here's my uh, another CO2 generator, same mixture. Just got through making it. This is starting to make the uh, foam on top of the water. This is the foam can get up here to the top sometimes. So try not to move it around and whatnot because it will be starting to get active. Which I'll give you a shot here of that here in a second once it starts. Two cups brown sugar. You can use white sugar. They both do the same. Half a tablespoon of yeast. Half a tablespoon of baking soda for the acidic acidicness of the mixture. And it helps makes the mixture last longer. And like I said, depending on how you mix it, it usually can run between two weeks to four weeks. Just gotta shake the bottle up every now and then get everything mixed around. But one little note, the least, least yeast to sugar you use, the longer the yeast will survive. Cause you know, if you have more yeast to sugar, they're in there eating up all the sugar and they can't survive. So if you got less yeast to sugar, they have enough to eat and survive while they're making CO2. And 20 minutes later, we got CO2. They said the yeast is eating the sugar. This is the CO2 generator. I said it come, comes up the tube, restricted by the check valve to build pressure. And then, like I said, once again, the OctaClear HOB. You insect into the uh, impeller. Trying to get a good angle for you. And there you go. Another way of forced reaction. Little tiny bubbles of CO2. Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.